When Cheryl Cole was a guest at the Graham Norton show with Michael B. Jordan, things got kind of flirty. But perhaps the most confusing signal was when Cheryl started doing some facial expressions after Michael commented that time flies. Wow! Yeah. Time flies. That it really does. does. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> and well, that sparked some dating rumors between these two, but Cheryl cleared that up in an interview with Capital FM and said that they weren't in any type of relationship. Promise me nothing's happening, because I'm otherwise I'm getting quite upset. No, I promise you nothing. You promise happening. me. All right, thank you, Cheryl. That's a pinky promise. <laughs> Gal Gadot and Chris Pine were doing an interview together, and Gal Gadot was looking at him in a very flirty way, but then she kind of remembered she's married. Uh, I think the really And well, that was not the only time Gal Gadot and Chris Pine were seen flirting with each other. More where I'm like, that's right, be a hero, but be like a beautiful, kind, loving person who, who's fighting for the right thing always and even has the, the, the ability to be. When Sway Lee was about to leave an event, a fan came up to him and asked for a picture. And let's just say that he really liked the fan, and apparently she liked him too. He even said something along the lines of taking her number, but couldn't do it because of all the cameras. Damn, I like your accent. Hey, man, what are you going to be in the next movie? It's like in the city. I, I kiss the camera with the camera. Oh, really? Camera, please go off, please. <laughs> hey, have a good night, Shroom Life, man. Come and talk. Rapper Lil Pump was watching Billie Eilish's Instagram Live and decided to shoot his shot by commenting some very weird comments, saying, you're the love of my life. Please let me wife you. Let me take you on a date. And finally, all right, babe, I'm out. And well, it proceeded by her bursting out laughing and saying no thanks. <laughs> uh, I can't even say what I'm laughing at. <laughs> no thanks. Adriana Lima, who's a former Victoria's Secret model and arguably one of the most beautiful women in the world, was in an interview with Craig Ferguson when things got blurty. No, but don't you think, um, really, you are very lovely, aren't you? Really, it is. Thank Shocking. you. Um, when you... <laughs> oh, my goodness me. What do you do on a normal day, then? When Justin Bieber got a little flirty and tried hugging Ariana Grande from behind during a concert, she rejected him on stage, probably because at the time she was dating Big Sean. It's no secret that Drake has a crush on Nicki Minaj. He even talked about it in an interview. I've always, like, really, actually, really had a crush on her. Like, always really loved her. And she's always just looked at me as, like, a little brother. And, well, there are even some clips showing Drake flirting with Nicki, in which she doesn't seem really interested. Keep on being amazing. Thank you. And thank you for inviting me. Yes. Are you leaving right now? Yes. When Ollie Murs and Mila Kunis were guests at the Graham Norton show, Graham decided to tell on Ollie Murs in front of Mila Kunis about a tweet he made revealing he had a crush on her. Someone tweeted you uh, this question. If you could have kids with any celeb, oh, no. who would you have them with? Oh, no, no. Way back in the day, there were some interviews in which we could see Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock flirting with each other. Sensitive, you guess? See? So sensitive. See? Yeah, he's... I'm sensitive. He is sensitive. Yeah. That's what the ladies like. <laughs> Why do you like me better than anyone you've ever worked with? Because you're the best. And well, several years later, Ellen asked Sandra Bullock if they ever dated, to which she responded they didn't, because she thought Keanu didn't like her. And well, Keanu later told otherwise. Did you date him? Never dated him. Really? I, there was just something about me that I guess he didn't like. <laughs> did you know that she had a crush on you? No? No. Did you, did she, did you she have a crush? She obviously didn't know I had a crush on her either. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not sure if this is considered flirting, but during a concert, Camilla and Sean were kind of staring at each other. Even though Scarlett Johansson was married at the time, there were still some occasions in which we can see her and Chris Evans playfully flirting. You know what I mean? Scarlett's always in superhero shape. Don't let her tell you anything otherwise. Yeah, yeah. That Black Widow suit slips on and off pretty easily. Don't she's, tell people that. She's just ready to go. I don't know what go. that sounds like, by the way. Wait, what am I looking at? <laughs>
What probably was one of the biggest Cristiano Ronaldo fans went to ask him some questions at a press conference. And after Cristiano Ronaldo gave her a hug and a kiss on the cheek, she was visibly very happy. Hi. <laughs> well, this one is a quite interesting one. There was a gym account who had only 70 followers at the time, and somehow Justin Bieber found a post to the gym account in which a girl named Jessica was posing. And apparently Justin was interested and decided to slide in the DMs and ask who the girl posing was. This was made public by Jessica, who tweeted Justin's DMs, and later also posted a picture with her boyfriend with the caption, I've got everything I need right here. At the 2015 VMA Awards, Drake kind of professed his love to Rihanna in a lengthy speech praising her. And who hasn't changed since day one. She's someone, she's someone I've been in love with since I was 22 years old. Justin Bieber decided to shoot his shot with Selena Gomez on stage even though Selena didn't seem interested at the time, based on her facial expressions, and even said it in some interviews afterwards. You're very beautiful. Maybe we, maybe we go out sometime. Okay. I want to say thank you. No, no, he's like my little brother. I don't... But despite the comments, things did end up working out for Justin Bieber, because they ended up dating for a while. At a morning show, when the topic came up about how it was working with Henry Cavill, Amy Adams made some comments that kind of made Henry blush. It must have been so challenging having to work with Henry it's every awful. day. It's just so awful. It's just too bad about his face, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's such a nice guy and then, you know. I kind of feel bad because in all of the press, it's like obvious, so people are constantly asking the question, and then I'm like, Henry's gonna take out a restraining order on me if I <laughs> keep talking about how cute he is and like giggling in his presence. But I when Margot Robbie and Will Smith were doing some press for the back then new movie Focus, Margot kind of exposed Will Smith's use of breath spray. Got this really lovely um, Easy. breath spray. Oh. That, um, <laughs> <laughs> he's got, he's got this, it tastes uh, like yeah, Christmas. Yeah, breath spray, yeah. It's like he's uh, just eating a candy cane. <laughs> really? Okay, it tastes so Christmas. Uh, uh, but I mean, when Instagram model Amanda Cerny went to say hi to soccer player Neymar, he apparently liked her and even winked at her after they took a picture. When g Easy was being interviewed by a radio station, he got kind of flirty with one of the hosts, which left her a little bit speechless. I love that you're wearing the colors of the UAE as well on your, around your oh, neck. Oh yeah, I did that for you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I lost what I was going to Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, that was that was a big deal. I was I was very appreciative that they were. Yeah. How do they tell you that? that? Like, how do they do they deliver the news? Send it by email. Send you a tweet. How do you? Find when Roman from Capital FM and Ariana were talking on Tinder, he decided to shoot his shot with Ariana Grande, and let's just say that it didn't turn out like he probably wanted. Would you ever swipe right on me? I am uncomfortable with this question. This is putting me on the spot, man. I don't have Tinder. Did I hurt your feelings? During the James Corden show, Kendall Jenner and Harry Styles were playing the game Spill Your Guts, in which you have to answer a question or eat something gross. And well, them being exes, things became very flirty. <sighs> Dying to know this. Which songs on your last album were about me? <laughs> David Dobrik is a YouTuber who has over 17 million subscribers, and during one of his vlogs, he revealed that Madison Beer had crushed on him for a long time. Madison's only in the guys that don't want anything to do with her. That's why she had a crush on me for like eight months. I'm not, not going to respond. <laughs> and a couple of months later, she went on David's podcast, and they kind of settled on going on a date together. I'll go on a date with Madison. Like, I know I'm not just saying that like in like a, in like a oh, I have to. I'll be like, that'd be pretty interesting. To get to know, know, know Madison. I think you know me pretty I well. I can tell that she's interested in you. Are you interested in me? You know I've had a crush on you. Let's not let's not have to revisit this every right. time. Almost nine years ago, Kylie Jenner had a bit of a crush on Cody Simpson. And well, apparently her sister Kendall really wanted them to date. And even went as far as saying that they were going to get married. Cody Simpson, because they'd be so cute together. Shh. Nice to meet you. I just want to love you on the radio. See you later.
just glad we got Cody. You guys are gonna get married. And well, apparently things did end up working for Kylie, because her and Cody actually dated back in 2011. During an interview at Comic-Con with the Riverdale cast, before they were dating, Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt started playing some hand games with each other, while their cast member Ashley was talking with the interviewer. Do a lot more music in. Um 